video goes out to a number of people, including Phoenix Chastain, who had a real problem with me mentioning Steve Shive's wife. Okay? Look, when I see controlling behavior and I see uh, borderline abusive behavior coming from anyone, I don't... I don't change my view based on whether someone's a man or a woman. Now, I'll be honest, I'm a little more apt to uh, say something when I see a, a woman abusing someone because of my past. Okay, my grandmother destroyed my mother, my grandfather, my brother, and myself. Destroyed us. We'll be, you know, till the day we die, we will be suffering from the shit that we dealt with from her. When Steve had some of these looks on his faces when his wife was saying what, he, what, what she said to him, um, I had a full-blown panic attack. That, that triggered me. That triggered me really bad. And I see that sort of thing, and I'm not supposed to say anything about it because, well, I don't know enough about how he treats uh, people uh, outside of, of YouTube. Well, you're right. I don't know how he treats people outside YouTube. I said, hey, he might be the nicest guy in the world. I don't know. I can see what he does on YouTube. I can see that he doesn't really want to have... Uh, debate or conversations or anything of the such with people who don't really agree with him. That's, that's definitely a thing with him. And, you know, I have no idea how he is outside YouTube. I do know what I saw on camera. And I will say the same, I will say something about whether some, whether someone's a man or a woman. I will say something about abuse. I will say something about controlling behavior. You know, I know damn well, I know damn well, those of you who, who complained about my, my stating this about Steve Shive's wife would have no problem at all with immediately calling out behavior of something that a guy was doing. If, even if a guy was doing something, that doing the actual definition of mansplaining to his girlfriend or his wife. You'd, you'd be all over that shit. Oh, but because Steve Shive's wife, well, it's, it's a, she's a woman, and so we, uh, we can't say anything. No, I, I'm sorry. You hold those kind of double standards, that's a bunch of shit. And those kind of double standards piss me the fuck off. Those kind of double standards are what create, uh, uh, you know, MRAs. Immediately call it out if a guy does it, but if a woman does it, well, well, well you know, give her some, some slack because she's a woman and she's oppressed just by virtue of being a woman. I don't like it when I see guys get treated like shit by women and then we can't say anything about it. Okay, now, I'm not going to try to assume what Steve's home life is actually like. I just know what I saw on camera. Okay, I would never go the route that Baring did. Uh, well, Baring technically didn't go there. He had Someone else made the animation and he posted it there. I thought that was disgusting. That was a disgusting video of his. All I'm saying about, and you know, and I, I don't even try to, to go into a bunch of details about what I think Steve might be going through at home. I just know the look that I saw on his face and his look of helplessness and sending me into a full-fledged full panic attack because of seeing that look on his face. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to give him a little bit more leeway. In, in the way that he reacts to people, even on YouTube. Because we generally, as humans will 
either cling to something or push away from something. Once you see it, you either cling to it or you push away. This is, uh, and this is, it's like how, uh, when you watch those videos of mine where, uh, you have the fractal that's moving outward, right, the whole time, and, and let's say I, my face isn't there, it's one of those ones where it's just, just the audio, and you go to look away and suddenly everything looks like it's compressing, right, because our minds get used to a pattern and it it does kind of the opposite. It, 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 it compensates. And so we compensate for everything that's in front of us. And so some of the things that Steve compensates for, you know, is why he reacts the way he does. Just like Milo Yiannopoulos. Some of the reason why, reasons why Milo Yiannopoulos uh, you know, takes some of the stances he does and is so strong on some of these stances is because he... It's, it's his way of dealing with some of the abuse that he dealt with. He wants to shove forth to himself that, uh, you know, he wasn't abused, that he, he wanted it, and that was, it was right, and it was a good thing. So he tries to flip it around, and then tries, and then the whole thing will be, you know, let's degrade those who deal with th th that kind of abuse differently, right? So Milo's stances and his, his, the ways that he seems to almost enjoy being made fun of, he enjoys the, uh, the negative attention, you know? All that shit comes from the way that, that things that he went through. We're all reacting to things that we've went through, we continue to go through, and to act like my paying attention to some things that Steve might be going through and giving him some extra slack and allowing myself to listen to him just a little bit more and translate it through some of the, you know, the the idea that he might be going through some emotional abuse, you know, allows me to see what he's saying a little bit better. It's not saying that I agree with him, but it allows me to listen to him a little bit better. But I'm not supposed to talk about why I give him more leeway, because, you know, well, I'm talking about a woman, and you can't do that. You, you can only make snap judgments when it's a guy, no, bullshit. I'm going to make snap judgments on either. When I see something on fucking camera, I see I see it right there in front of me. Yeah, I'm going to make judgments. Damn right. If you're going to tell me I'm I'm not a moral person because I've made those judgments, you know, go fuck yourself. Seriously. I'm going to call out when I see controlling abusive behavior, no matter who's doing it. I'm going to call it out. The fact that you've got some double standards is shitty.